a major push to protect kids from getting addicted to social media apps. Utah is now the first state in the nation to enact laws limiting how children and teens use social media. The measures require parental consent before kids can sign up for sites like TikTok and Instagram. The law also prohibits kids under 18 from using social media in the overnight hours. It requires age verification on social media and now opens the door to lawsuits on behalf of children claiming social media harmed them. Social media companies are expected to sue before this law takes effect next year. So joining me now is Utah State Senator Michael McKell, the chief sponsor of this bill, which is now law. Senator McKell, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Uh, first question, obvious question here, but why was it important for you to sponsor this? There's a lot of attention, we know, of course, on how potentially harmful social media can be to young people. Well, well, thank you for having me on. And, and, and the, the short answer is I have kids. Um, I was the Senate sponsor, the House sponsor, uh, who also ran another bill, um, Representative Tusher. He also has kids, and we're, we're very concerned about the harm social media is having on our kids. If you, if you look at where we're at as a nation, there was a CDC report, 17,000 kids were surveyed. 30% uh, of our girls had seriously contemplated suicide. More than 50% of our young girls had sustained feelings of loneliness and depression. And that that is a drastic change over the last decade. Uh, we've looked at research and we believe social media companies have, have some blame. I, I've been watching the congressional hearings. I was I was impressed with some of what I saw. Senator Hawley, you know, called it called it digital fentanyl. And I think that that term is right. And it's time to take a stand. It's time to make a difference. Yeah, it certainly appears, you know, it, it can be dangerous. As you said, there are these studies pointing to that. Senator, how will this be enforced? A great question. So there's two ways it'll be enforced in both the bills in the state of Utah. We have empowered our division of consumer protection. We are, we are all on board, both the governor's office, the legislative leadership. We're, we're doing this together. You can see some of that on socialmedia.utah.gov. Our division of consumer protection will be engaged. Uh, additionally, we have a private, private right of action. Sometimes government doesn't have the resources to enforce, and we're going to let the private market do that as well. Well, you know, as you said, Senator, you're a father. You know, we were all kids. We, we know how kids are. Are kids going to be able to get around whatever safeguards are, in fact, put in place? You know what? There's no question. Some kids will. Kids, kids are brilliant. Um, well, part of why we're running this is we had parents reach out to us, say, "Look, we want tools." And what we're trying to do is empower parents. Uh, certainly, there are going to be some kids that get around it. We're, we're never going to capture anybody, and that's the same with any any type of law that you pass. There's always there's always ways around it. But I think we're going to capture the, the vast majority, and I think we're going to make a difference. Well, let's let's say a child, you know, does get their parents permission uh, and then they are using these apps. Won't they still be exposed to the potentially harmful content and really the data collection? I mean, so is this maybe uh, more of a speed bump versus to total eradication? Well, and I think it's a great question. And, and one of the things I'd say about that issue is this is a big bipartisan issue. One of the things you'll see, I'm, I'm a Republican from Utah in the State of the Union address. President Biden actually said we need to hold social media companies accountable. And two, two things that he said is. We need to ban them from collecting data on our kids, and we need to ban social media companies from marketing directly to, to our kids. We actually have both of those concepts in, in our bill. It was almost as if he saw the, the, the Utah bill as, as a model, but we do ban data collection, and we do ban direct advertisement to kids, and that, that's in the bill right now. All right. Yeah, we'll see if other states end up following Utah's lead. Utah State Senator Michael McKell, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.